Hi. Hi. Uh, how do I come back to the live chat again? Sorry for the technical problems. Okay, and uh, thank you for your patience in waiting for us. Now, I'm Dr. Andy Choi, the program leader of the MSC Bank at PolyU. And uh, today, me and our students in this program would like to share our uh, study experience at Hong Kong, in particular for this program. But before we start, let us introduce ourselves first. Uh, okay. Hello everyone, my name is Arno and I'm from mainland China, Shandong province and I majored in economics in my undergraduate subject. Hi everyone, my name is Mercedes, I'm from Guangzhou, China. I majored in finance where I was an undergraduate student. Hi everyone, my name is Diana. I come from Ecuador, South America, and I major in commercial engineer in my Hong Kong town. Hi everyone, I'm Rosen. I study hotel management in Switzerland for my undergraduate degree. Now I would like to use about 10 minutes to give you some basic information about the faculty and this program. And after that, we can uh, really start the live chat on uh, whatever question you might have for this program. Now, the Faculty of Business at Poly is, PolyU is one of the largest business schools in Asia. We have close to 5,000 students this year, and we have uh, more than 200 scholars from all over the world. The Faculty of Business are accredited by uh, the AACSB in the US and the ACRES in Europe. Now, in terms of our worldwide ranking, you might notice from that slide, our ranking for the subject on business and economic and management are all ranked in the top 50. And that is why the faculty developed this program, MSc in Business Management. So we would like to use uh, to teach our students with uh, the most advanced knowledge in business management and economics. Now, the vision of this program has been a practical solution seeker. That is, we want our students after they graduate, they can find solutions and looking at the solutions from different angles and find a good solutions to solve a business problems. To do that, not only our students need to have uh, their basic knowledge in business, but also need to know the effective communication skills. So that once they have the solution, they know how to communicate their solutions to their clients. Now, therefore, we'll, in one year, we'll go through all the basic uh, knowledge in business and to, so that our students will have the hard knowledge that help them to look at, find solutions from different uh, perspectives in business. But we'll also try to train our students with the necessary communication skills so they know how to communicate with others better. Now, the whole, so you can get this master degree in one year. But in that year, you need to spend, um, divide your study into three semesters. For the first two semesters, you need to study at PolyU in Hong Kong and then attend one summer program at a university in Europe. I will go to the summer program uh, in a minute. But before we move on to the summer program, you might ask, do you need any prior knowledge in business or any prior working experience before you can apply? The answer to this question is uh, no. You don't need to have uh, a business background to apply for that program, and you don't necessarily, uh, working experience is not necessary. Now, because we, in this program, will help you to understand all the basic knowledge in business that can help to develop your future career in business better. And in particular, I would like to draw your attention to the last point on this slide is we have, this year we have about 200,000 US dollars for scholarship. So you can apply for scholarship that can help uh, you with your study at Hong Kong. Now, for the coming cohort, the students are likely to uh, have two choices for their summer program. One is going to the University of Ljubljana in Slovenia. That is, in, that is a very large summer program. And students, just like last year, 
they can learn uh, bigger business subjects um, with students from around the world. And they can learn from the professor from different countries as well. Now, and the students in the coming cohort may also go to the summer program offered by the University of Leeds in the UK. And this found this business school are similar to PolyU, are all accredited by the AACSB and ACOS. Now you might know, okay, that even though it is a, a relatively new program, um, we are about today we are three years old, but uh, we still already have some alumni, and you might want to know where they're going to after they graduate. Now, first of all, um, our students are coming from uh, various countries, as you might see from this slide, and after they graduate. Most of them going to the financial industry, either uh, in Hong Kong or in their home country. And the rest of the uh, graduate are working in various industry, starting from the government to education. Um, okay. Um, so, now we is time. Now um, remember that you can apply through our website and in your application. If you want to apply for a scholarship, please indicate your preference by putting a tick against the a box, telling that you would like to apply for a scholarship as well. And uh, your application for scholarship and your application for this program are independent. So uh, if you apply for a scholarship. That decision will not affect our decision on your admittance to this program. Now, that's, uh, I have already talked too much, so it's time to hand my, uh, to give my time back to our students to see how, uh, okay, you might have uh, some sharing with our uh, the potential student in the other side of the internet. All right. Yes. Okay. Maybe, uh, Okay, well, uh, anyone can tell me why you, what made you apply for this program last year? So, like, um, you know, first reason for me is polio is ranked very high in the world, so uh, I chose polio. Uh, and another reason for me is the subjects in this program, like strategic management, cross cultural management, and some selective subjects like uh, risk management, that sounds really interesting. This, all these reasons, all these reasons for me to uh, apply for this subject. So, um, for me, actually, my father is a businessman, and I want to learn more about this uh, subject because I major in finance when I was an undergraduate student. So now I'm I'm studying the business management. Therefore, I can help my father to manage his own business. Well, in my case. I wanted to study management from a top leading university as PolyU, and I wanted to see the Asian perspective. That's what I travel all the world around to study here. And this program for me was unique in Hong Kong. Uh, you cannot find it anywhere else where it accepts, accepts people from different backgrounds. For me, since I studied my undergraduate uh, in the degree of hotel management, and actually this is quite narrow for the de uh, career development. And I also discovered my uh, passion towards the finance industry during my working experience and also my internship. And also for this course, I, it only takes one year to get a master's degree, so it is quite useful for us. Mm -hmm. I think it's a question, say, asking that, uh, do you think that this program helps to develop your future career. So anyone can answer that question? Yes, it does. Because for me, as like I said, for hotel management, the career development is really narrow. And then uh, also I saw that the graduates that uh, after graduate from this course, they can also work for uh, banking, finance industry, or even the government. So this is more opportunity for me. It's a wider, wider opportunities and wider change. Choices, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, 
do do you think that this program help you know yourself better? I can answer that. Um, yeah, definitely. I think it it helps me in my case a lot, like to know yourself, to know how how are you, how you are when working with people, and especially when working with people that come from different cultural backgrounds. I would say it changed my mind. It changed my way to see how people think and opened my mind. And it became. I also became aware that I have a more communication skills than I used to believe I had. So I will say I grew up here in this university, of course, and it helps you a lot to become a better person. Well, well there's one more question on so now. Whether the program seems to focus on global outlook. So does, do you think that this program gives you a chance to think about the global economy Yes, definitely. Actually, we had a subject last semester called the Global Economic Environment for Management. Uh, as you know, the trend of globalization is unstoppable. It's necessary for a manager to think globally. And this job uh, definitely conducts our basic uh, economic uh, analysis for the, uh, for the global economy. So uh, I think this, uh, this program gives us a chance to uh, cultivate my ability to analyze the economy uh, for the entire world. So. Well, there, there is a question quite challenging. Except that, do you encounter some professor at Poly U who really challenge you? Actually, I think that all the professors in the school have challenged me because the assignment and also the advice that the teacher gave us is always aiming me to, to be a to be the best of myself and actually letting me to do it better even that i think it is it was enough yeah and I, I will add something like every teacher is like very prepared they come from like a very professional background so that really helps you to know more about how it's going to be your work life after and if they challenge you they will do it in the future in your future work so it helps a lot to be challenged now, by the way, does this program give you any chance to reflect on some important uh, business issues? Yeah, I can answer this kind of questions. Yeah, of course, because since we are studying business management, of course, we are learning something related to the current business issue. Uh, actually, all of our subjects are related to the uh, current business issues, say, uh, the economics that was taught by Andy, mm -hmm. our program director, uh, is done economics, and we learn something, especially some theories, a theory to analyze the uh, Asian financial crisis. Business issues. Yeah, 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 business issues. And also, we learn how to explain the inflation rates as well as the stock market, something like that. So it's quite useful. Okay. And we learn a lot about the current business issues. Um, in my introductions, I emphasize that this program focuses on the communication skills. Now, so far, do you think that this program uh, indeed helps you with your communication skills? Yes, definitely. Uh, my <coughs> communication skills are really improved by this program. You know, we have lots of presentations and group subjects. Uh, we need to have lots of meetings, and every, every meeting for us is another task. Uh, to post our own opinion and sometimes draw conclusion, and sometimes we even have to negotiate with each other, not only from the people from the cl uh, classmates from the China Chinese culture, but also from other cultures. And I think it helps me a lot. Yeah, say I have a uh, I have a <coughs> uh, who is tall and he's a British and totally different culture because I'm a Chinese and we need to communicate every time. Now uh, we have talked about enough time on the program at time. Now it is time to move on to some of your personal life in at PolyU. Like say first of all, anyone can share with us uh, how you find your classmate? Yeah actually for me I found my classmate during the orientation. Uh, the program offered us several lectures before the before the semester. Say that our lecture begins at 
begins in September and then in August we will have several orientation. And then during the orienta orientation, different professor will introduce our uh, different different classes, different lectures, and then during that orientation we will make some friends. Now, do you think that okay, going through all these classwork, uh, the program indeed help you to make you um, become more helpful to others, more willing to help others? Mm, yeah, sure. For me, say my father is a businessman and then I learned something in our program, then I could help my father to analyze the current business news and then to help him to solve some business problems. Yeah, and also because uh, like as you need to work in teams always, you need to help each other, otherwise uh, the teams are not going to make it. So you need to be helpful with everyone. And I would say, yeah, the program definitely uh, allows you to know people and be helpful to them. Yeah. Do you think that uh, you might know some lifelong friends through your study here at PolyU? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Diana. <laughs> Actually, I never expected that I could meet such a good friend, Diana, and then mm -hmm. he, and then she uh, always hang out with me for swimming or for having dinner, and then we always have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, Andy just now mentioned that we all we also have um, summer school. Of course, um, we'll have more friends when we are having a summer school. Now. Okay, the, this one, one more question on your life yeah. in Hong Kong. So, I, can you share your, okay. as a foreigner, can you share your life in Hong Kong? Uh, yeah, well, uh, for me, coming from a totally different background, I love Hong Kong. For me, Hong Kong is amazing. Like, it's really easy to adapt, even if you are a foreigner, and if it's easy to me, if it was easy to me, it would be easy for you people. Because you can find, like, I would say Hong Kong is like a mixture of everything. Like, it has nature, outdoor activities, and it also has, like, a very city in the middle. So you have everything in a small place where the longest, like, the longest trip will be 30 minutes or one hour. And Every, it's a very international city where you can find people from different backgrounds, different cultures, and also there's a lot of food, different kind of foods, international food, local, and I, loads of students. It's a very friendly city. So that's that's basically my experience of, and my view of Hong Kong, that it will be easy for everyone to adapt here. And also the things are quite delicious here. Yeah, the food is amazing. Like everything is good. Okay. Now, the last question probably is, uh, what is your recommendations to those uh, students, international students? In particular, this time we target on the South Korean um, potential applicants. Okay, what is your advice to them for their application to this program or for their study? In Hong Kong? Uh, I don't know. We can. We can. Uh, uh, maybe a little, little recommendation uh, in life. You know, I'm from North China, and I think Korea is, uh, you know, cooler than Hong Kong. And my first, uh, my first opinion is prepare for the hot weather. <laughs> but in the application, I would say be transparent. Like be yourself and. Uh, if you really think this program is for you, then go for it, but uh, be transparent with what you want and work for it, because it's, it's a good program, uh, you will take a lot of, uh, you will learn a lot from it, so, um, no advice. And also, if you are interested, please register as soon as possible, and when you come here, please be open-minded, and then we are willing to make friends with you guys. Now, so if you uh, just want to remind you that the deadline for the application will be the end of April. So uh, if you really want to develop your career in business 
and you want to get uh, using spend a one year time to learn all the basic knowledge in business and in, to improve your communication skills uh, that is the right program for you so apply now and also apply for the scholarship if you want and that I highly recommend you to do now um, but uh, also enjoy your life in Hong Kong ah, one more but the last thing is pop you might want to know is about your after graduations okay can you work in Hong Kong now the answer is yes um, after graduations you will you can uh, work in Hong Kong for at least one year so you can uh, try to explore even more your life in Hong Kong after your study at this program and the university will provide you services in finding job in Hong Kong now I think that's almost uh, the time is almost up and thank you for checking with us and hope that these informations are helpful and really want to see you guys in the coming interview. Bye bye. Thank you and bye bye. bye.